demystify one thing. Brain surgery ikifanyika, mostly a person, correct me if I'm wrong, a person is awake. Unakata mtu kichwa lakini unampigia story. <laughs> unamuingiza vitu kwa kichwa lakini unamuingiza ma story. Makasi yako na makasi yako na msumeno kwa kichwa. We unaingia kutuwa chini unatoa. How true is that? So ili una describe ni inaitua kitu ina awake craniotomy. Tuna, wa, we, we want to say thank you very much kwa madaktari wa usingizi anesthetist and anesthesiologist because wawo ndi wana to support in things like this. Most operations tunafanya mtu wakiwa melala. Why? We just want to, to concentrate on what we are doing and things like that. That's fine. Yes. But we can now do things when half of you are asleep and sometimes when you're completely awake. When you're uh, completely awake, mbaka kuna, kuna steps mbaka to follow. Now, the reason why we do you awake, sometimes it's because afia yako, and sometimes it's because unajopalitu watu kisema, nata kuchunga sana ni siguze pali inakufundisha kuwa Dr. Kingori. Hapo, yes. sitaki wa mke alafu seme kime umana. Yeah. So, so we might do you as an awake if we're doing a procedure yes. to preserve those things that mean so much to you. Yeah? But those are in very specific operations, and you will be counseled appropriately. Mtota kuambia, for this one, I need you awake because of one, two, three. Yeah. Ah. So, unaka hapo ni kama unatengenezwa dreadi, mbaka iishe. So, the... Bile tutafanya, one day tutakualika uje. Yo, sasa uikwe a little bit more demystified. Okay. Doku, kuna sema kitu. And kuna sema, that's a very specific occasion. As in, it's something that's gaining traction right now. Specifically for operations, that is of places sensitive. Ukiangalia kwa YouTube, unawana mtu anacheza violin, ama na imba, or something. That's someone who unaoperate somewhere that is so close to that skill that hiyo ndio ni kama livelihood yake mm. yes. so unaweza kumlaza for the be, for the beginning of the surgery the parts that you go through but once you get to the brain because the brain itself feels no pain mm. hakuna yes. pain receptors kwa ubongo yes. you lighten the sedation ya mtu unamwamsha kuna mtu anaongea naye hapo mm. and then you're able to do it safely mm. so this is only a very specific, specific very specific situation you do that and it's actually the minority of surgeries in tunafanya most of them out like a light. Okay, before I let you go, before to be uh, your, your lowest moment, now probably your highest moment, uh, what information do you wish Kenyans would know as far as neurosurgery is concerned? So, we are in a privileged position to now have neurosurgeons in our country. For a long time, we didn't. We want you guys to come and seek help for us early. Ukona Shida, and you're not sure, we would rather see you and, and say you don't need our help, and not just our help, go to health care providers, waku, waku, you know, they e examine you and things like that. Ukiwambiwa, yes. fanya this thing in a particular timeline, tunaomba uti tafadhali, ili uje kwetu, alafu tunaku explainia what we're doing. Because this, we are here to serve other people, and the problems that other affect other people also affect us. So we have a lot of privilege in doing what we do, and we're very grateful. Asante. Mm -hmm. Dr. Kitungu, one thing that you wish Kenyans can know about neurosurgery? I think ile ni katakawajue kabisa ni the services are available. Mm. Yes. And available not just at Iziko Karibu now, mm. available also accessible in terms of cost. Mm. Yes. There's, a, there's a thought kila mtu ufikiria kazi yetu ni extremely expensive. Mm. Yes. Majority of the cases are. But there's a lot more right now that Kenyans can access through the power one of the NHIF, two of even the insurances they have, or even that coming together. So kabla uogope kuenda kwa daktari, kuja, ongea na daktari, atakueleza the options that are available and the ones that would fit mm. what it is that you're able to to, to afford. Mm. Ah, okay. Mm. It's such an interesting thing kukua kwa kariya enye mnalipo wa kupima watu wakili. It's very, very, <laughs> very, very, very good vibes. Your mm. lowest moment kwa job? I think it's never easy when you lose a patient. Yeah? Ah. You know, honestly, we we're talking like this, but we we really care about the people we take care of because they're just like us. So when a result doesn't work out the way we want it to be, we also grieve for that. When something doesn't go according to plan, we grieve. And that's why we're very passionate, asking guys, if you need our help, we are here for you. We just want to take care of you. Uh, yeah. I, can I assume that at the the worst, lowest moment ni lose patient? Yeah. Now, you moments za. You, pre you actually prepare someone before m operate on someone. You tell them that hey, niaji, unazenda, kama umekutana na yesu, ama kwetu. So without giving patient identifiers, I'll give you something that sticks to my mind karibu sana. Yes. It was a young man. Uh, he, he came rather late. Yeah. Mze. It was a difficult procedure. He actually did well after surgery, and then akuendelea vizuri after that. Yeah. Mzee akani when he was burying his son to thank me. 
to thank you to thank you for thank me for what we are everything to mejaribu tumeongea na yeye nini and the fact that tumetembea na yeye kwa hii jani yote mpaka mwisho mm -hmm. so that becomes a difficult situation because you know you've given everything to the ability ambayo uko nayo and you get here thankfully this is not common this is not every it's not every day yeah. yes, that yes, we do yes. this so um, as we talk about the lows mimi nataka switch there's a lot of highs because yeah. there's a lot of good that we do okay. and a lot of patients that you are assisting okay mm.